Howdy there, I'm Reno, Nevada. This is Yee. Hey yo, I'm Yee Haw. Stepping on my toes. Anyway, welcome to This Cowboy Makes Your Comments into Country Songs. Brought to you by YouTube Mobile Live. This is all being shot on a cellular phone, just like you probably own. Unless for some reason you are too young to own a phone or have been in some sort of time freeze since the mid-1990s. Anyway, if you want to send us a comment, we'll pop it up here on this screen. Turn it into a country song and a classic country song that's been sung for many, many years. Got here a desert. We have an old tradition of hanging out and making songs just about anything. Birds, rocks, ladies, a lot of songs about ladies. Uh, poor folks, rich folks, dust, tumbleweed, dusty tumbleweed, dusty poor folks, dusty rich folks, hats. Let's see what we got so far. Ooh, a word I can't pronounce, LLP. Hamsters are the new black. Worst terminal LLP. Well, that's the username. Yeah, that's what I can say. It's a username uh, that I cannot pronounce. Sorry, I'm just a country boy. I ain't <laughs> never been to Germany or whatever. That's what I'm saying. Hamsters are the new black. <laughs> There are a lot of fancy pets to have If you really wanna See rich folks buying up a cockatoo A giraffe or even an iguana But if you want the pet that is in the now The one that you simply must have Well it's gotta be a hamster Cause don't you know The hamsters are the new black That's right, hamsters Are the new black I said hamsters are the new black. It beats a lion, a tiger, even a hyena or your old-fashioned giraffe. I tell you, hamsters are the new black. Well, I was inside my house with my sister and my brother. And we were looking at all different kinds of paint. Trying to pick a color And I said, we could paint this a lot of ways But we'll want to take them all back We should paint this the color of a hamster And by hamster, we should paint it black Because hamsters are the new black I tell you, hamsters are the new black You paint it red, orange, or tangerine Give me a heart attack You gotta paint it hamsters Because they are the new black Hamsters are the new black Hamsters are the new black Classic country song Everyone knows it You can sing it in a bar In a field Mostly only bars and fields Are the places acceptable to sing that song Let's see if we can get another one up here Thank you for that for that comment. Let's see. Alana O'Connell Wilcox gives us the song Pizza is Bay. You're not wrong, Alana. Pizza is Bay. And if you've got a special Bay, that's great. But sometimes you don't want a flesh and blood Bay. Sitting down by the side of the road with the feeling I want to share her. I'm not looking for the touch of a human hand. I want the flavor of marinara. Ooh, and it feels so good. Feels so good, please. Just settle on down in bed with a bunch of melted cheese. Pizza's Bay. Mm. Pizza's Bay. Each and every day. Pizza's Bay. Some people want a thing that's easy to say. Well, if you're looking for a delicious boyfriend, I tell you, pizza is bae. Lying around in my bedroom late at night. So many thoughts in my head giving me a fright. Think about the girl next door, how I really want to meet her. But I don't really want to meet her. What I really want is a pizza because pizza's bae. Bay. My mom's telling me to get married, I don't listen to what she say Because I only want one thing for my life and that's pizza is bay pizza, 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 pizza. pizza.
Lana, that was Pizza Bay. We all know that if you're looking for the right kind of relationship with food, a hamburger will leave you, and french fries are always cheating around on you, but pizza is good enough. All right, now we got one from John Barfield. The president is a little boy. Well, you're not wrong, John Barfield. Not many people know it, but each and every one of us is a little boy. Even a little girl is a little boy. The president is no exception to that. Yeehaw. Yeehaw? Yeehaw. Oh, you're gonna sing that again? <laughs> Yeehaw. So, when you're thinking about all the political strife in this world, just remember one thing. A white house is a big house when you're just a little boy. Tanks and drones are nothing more than little toys And the NSA is just a cup and a string For a little boy to hold up to his ear And listen to little things Because the president is just a little boy Yes, the president is just a little boy Just little executive toys Because the president is just a little boy He's just a little boy The president has to meet with the UN It's just a bunch of little boys and girls Trying to be a little friends and when he talks to Syria, they're just having a little fight Because that little Syrian president just can't figure out what's right The Syrian president is just a little boy Being very mean to all the people there, so much more than annoyed Because the president is just a little boy years we have an election like a bunch of people on the dodgeball wall trying to make a little selection well, which one do we want to lead us all and we choose it by voting which is the electoral equivalent of throwing a ball because the president is just a little ball Just a little boy And the army, the navy, and the national guard Are nothing more than little toys For the president He's just a little boy He's just a little boy Just a little boy Or girls Because girls can be presidents too I mean they haven't been yet in this country, but God, it seems like we're getting close. Seems like it's just a matter of time. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Yeehaw is a man of few words. Two words specifically. Those words are yee and ha. Thank you for that song title. The President is Just a Little Boy. We're here on YouTube Mobile. This is all being filmed on cell phones. So let's see what we got here. Hunter Murdoch gives us, I like to eat cinnamon buns late at night by the fireside. Well, I think each and every one of us is like Hunter Murdoch in that we like to eat cinnamon buns late by the fireside. Mm. Nothing more romantic for a late night. Fireside treat. Some people eat hot dogs, some people eat marshmallows. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I do not need any of those. It's only one thing, late at night. Fun. 
colored knife on a cinnamon bun In the middle of the day Food's all right But I gotta have a cinnamon bun Late night by the fireside Cinnamon bun. Some food is good, piping hot, like soup. Mm. Before cinnamon bun, here is the scoop. If you want it at the right temperature, the temperature you desire, and needs to be late night by a cinnamon bun, right next to a fire. Cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun. You want late night fun? Need cinnamon bun. Sit yourself down by the fireside late at night with a little, 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 little cinnamon bun. Mm. Now, yeehaw, I'm going to shout out a bunch of places. You tell me the only kind of food acceptable to eat by those places. I think I got it. Fireside. Yeehaw. And one, two, three. Fireside. Cinnamon, cinnamon buns. buns. Late night. Cinnamon buns. Campfire. Cinnamon buns. Campfire. Cinnamon buns, midnight, cinnamon buns, seven o'clock, cinnamon buns, mid morning, cinnamon buns, breakfast time, cinnamon buns, lunch time, cinnamon buns, microwave, cinnamon, cinnamon buns. during that song that while it is good to eat cinnamon buns late night by the fireside there is in fact no time of day or place where a cinnamon bun is not yeah. an appropriate yep. thing to eat isn't that right yeehaw that's good got a little yeehaw excited yeah that's good yeehaw that's, that's, fine. that's the way it should be oh your neckerchief go away yeah. not everyone knows what these are for so I'll let you in a little cowboy secret no one knows what these are for <laughs> all right from Ron Inc. Ron made himself incorporated, so we, we congratulate Ron on his new incorporation. Ron Inc. says, Kermit is actually a toad. He w Some people say Kermit the Frog. No, no. Mm. That ain't so. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you gonna adjust real quick? Yeah, yeah. I am too. Yeah, you know, all right. Yeah. We're here in the Dusty Desert. That's good. America's favorite muppet He's green and he's slimy on a lily pond And he's technically a puppet I bought it It doesn't really matter what you heard Down that long and winding road Because Kermit would have you believe he's a frog But he's actually a toad The Kermit is a toad The Kermit is a toad So I need you to forget everything you know because the Kermit is a toe. Kermit is a toe. Kermit's a toe. Kermit the frog. No, 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 no. Because the Kermit is a toe. That's not all the Muppets have been hiding from you, though, folks. I learned one thing. I was playing a game of golf. And I looked right over and saw a piano playing Muppet by the name of Rolf. And I said, Ralph, you look different here than as a matter of fact. Everyone was telling me Ralph is a dog, but it appears that Ralph is a cat. The Ralph is a cat. Ralph is a cat. The Ralph is a cat. The cat. <laughs> told us that he was a dog, but imagine that. You know, I've never seen a cat digging holes in the ground, sniffing and this and that. They told you that Ralph was a dog, but no, 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 no. The Ralph is a cat, Kermit is a toad, Kermit is still a toad, and Ralph's still a cat. Ralph's still a cat. Ah, oh, but that's not all. I was out on a Hollywood set, feeling pretty biggie. Who did a spot by the champagne fountain was a little Miss 
piggy and then she dropped right down and offered me a glass of milk i said how did you make that glass of milk she said yes cuz i'm actually a cow miss piggy is a cow miss piggy is a cow and people are screaming when what where and how oh the muppets have been lying to you all your life and i don't know why or how but kermit is a toad ralph is a cat and miss piggy is a cow thanks ronnie that's kermit is actually a toad i think we got to the bottom of a lot of muppet conspiracies in that song uh, yeah. You pull a thread, you Ye- never know where Ye- that thread's gonna lead. Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw. All right. Bob Joe. Bob Joe, I know a Bob Joe. I hope this is the Bob Joe I know. Parallel parking 101. Now, parallel parking for a car is somewhat different than parallel parking for a horse. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about parallel parking for a car. Parallel parking for a horse, you just kind of grab the horse and you shake it to the side and then you get off and if it's not quite right you just push on it and it takes a couple steps over or it kicks you and then you die because horses are incredibly strong creatures yeah. parallel parking 101 you ready there yeehaw yep all right now traffic safety is very important parallel parking is one of the more difficult parts of it but this little song will help you figure out how to do it If you want to parallel park and you want to have some fun, we got to start with the very basic parallel parking 101. And I got to tell you all out there that you won't get very far unless you start at the very beginning. Step one, get into your car. Get into your car. Get into your car. Get into your car. Step one, step one, get in your car. Now, now that you're in your car, very, very well done. That was step one, now for step two, you gotta turn the car on, you gotta turn the car on, you gotta turn the car on. Step one, get into your car, step two, turn the car on. Now. People like that's all basic, that's so easy to see. Let's get to the real stuff, which brings us to step three. Now, when you're parallel parking and you don't want to hurt yourself, you got into your car, you turn the car on, you got to put on your seat belt. Put on your seat belt. Put on your seat belt. Get into your car. Turn the car on and then put on your seat belt. Now for the fourth part. The fourth part isn't that hard. You got your seat belt on, you're in the car and it's on. Step four, parallel park. You parallel park. Just parallel park. Get in the car, turn it on and put your seat belt on. Step four, you parallel park. That's it, folks. Parallel parking. Easy. easy to do. Easy, easy enough. We got time for one more comment right here. And by the way, all you use that parallel parking knowledge to really impress your guests, uh, whether they're in your car, they're driving instructors, they will be ve- they'll be like, oh, you're new to put your seatbelt on? You'll be like, yes, I'm an expert because I, I listened to Reno, Nevada, and Yeehaw, and they taught me all I do is parallel park. Thinking is believing, believing is doing. That's all believing you need to know. Dead. All right, last one. Yeah. Emmett Wills. The Stuck in Bed Blues. The Stuck in Bed Blues. That's a wonderful song, Emmett Willis. And uh, well, it wouldn't be a wouldn't be a cowboy sing along on YouTube Mobile if we didn't end with the Stuck in Bed Blues. We've all done this too. Some say you got found. 
I got the stuck in bed blues. I'm too big for this bed. I got the stuck in bed blues. I got in a child's bed instead. And I don't know what has happened. I don't know what I did. I got the stuck in bed blues. Cause I'm an adult who went to sleep in a crib. Crib for a baby who went to sleep in a And I wake up feeling strange. I look around me and I don't remember my name or my age. And I think, what has happened? What has happened to me? Then I look at the straps on my wrist. I've been committed to a mental facility. I got the stuck in bed blues. I am tied to this bed. I got the stuck in bed blues. Psychiatric drugs in my head. I must have some sort of mental instability running through me and my head. And I'm tied down. I got the stuck in bed. Wake up in the morning, woken by the sun. I look around and everything's right, ready for a day full of fun. And I struggle to move my hands or my feet, the left or the right. It seems I'm stuck in this bed. I tuck myself in far too tight. I got the stuck in bed blues. These sheets are too tight. Oh, the stuck in bed blues. Oh, mama, you didn't do me right. You read me a story and tucked me in, but I don't know what to do. These sheets are far too tight, and now I got the stuck in bed. bed. Stuck in bed blues. This has been This Cowboy Makes Your Comments in the Country Song. I'm Reno Nevada. And I'm Yeehaw. You've been watching YouTube mobile stream on a cell phone. And in all reality, <clears throat> my name is Zach Reno. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Zach Reno, Z A C H R E I N O. Thank you so much for watching. This has been lots of fun. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. I'm Sam Janitis. Uh, Follow me on Twitter as well, at Sam Janitis, and Instagram, Sam Janitis. I'm going to spell my name one more time, because it's complicated. That's <laughs> at Z-A-C-H-R-E-I-N-O. I expect to get at least three Twitter followers from this. <laughs> Can't wait to see who they are. First three, I'm going to write you a poem. And then the next five after that, I'm going to say thank you in my head, but probably won't do anything, because I have a short attention span. <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone. Have a happy new year and a great day. Thank you.